All right, what is going on, everybody? So I'm going to show you today how to create a hybrid store in less than 15 minutes. All right, so in case you don't know what a hybrid store is, that's basically like a general store, but each product page looks like a one product store. So like basically it looks like its own website. It's completely branded. Um, they can't access the rest of the website through there. They don't, it's like basically just like a landing page, right? So I'm going to teach you how to do this in less than 15 minutes. So first things first, let's go ahead and open up a Shopify account. Once you open up your Shopify account, you want to import your products. And then after you import your products, you want to download an app called PageFly. All right. So once you download PageFly, you're going to want to click the link that I have down below and that'll take you to a website like this. So these are basically templates that I sell PageFly templates that you're able to upload and completely customize to your own product. So these templates pretty much look like this one where you'll be downloading, what you'll be getting is a website that looks like this. You upload it. Everything is already there and you're able to go ahead and completely customize it. You know, everything is completely custom Um, the product pages like their own website, you know, so you have your own little logo up here. Everything is completely unique and you can completely customize the whole thing. Right. So after you go ahead and you place your order here, you're going to get an email with these two files. All right, so you're going to get the home page and the product page. After you get the files, you're going to want to go to PageFly. And then from there, you're going to want to press import right here, right? So after you press import, you're going to upload the home page and put it here on the home page. And then you're going to want to do the same thing for the product page, right? So you're going to want to go to product pages, click import, and then import the product page file. All right. So once you import those files, you're going to be able to edit them. You just click right here and all you need to do once you're in here is pretty much change the wording, right? Everything else is super simple. Um, so let's say you have a different product and you know, your main, you have like a product that you're putting more focus on. That'll be your trending product of the month. So you come here and if you want to swap out the product, all you have to do is click the image, go to general. All right. And then from there, you're going to select custom product and you're able to select which product you want it to be. Right. So let's say I wanted it to be a different product. I would come here. You see, so it's, it's basically it's dynamic. You're able to go ahead and change whichever product it is that you want there. And you're going to have to do the same thing for the buy now button. Right. So you click the buy now button, you go to the general tab. All right. You click select and then from there you click whichever product it is that you're, you know, selling on that particular section. Right. So you do the same thing for the title. You come here, you select the product, pretty much the same thing for all of this. This part is just, <clears throat> it's just custom text. But other than that, you do the same thing for all of these down here. You know, you come down here and this is just a, a featured media tab. So you're able to click product list. And then you select your collection, right? So basically you just want to hover your mouse over this space. It'll select all of these. And then from there, you're able to see custom collection and you can select which collection you want to be displayed right here. So you can put a bestseller collection or something like that. And everything will completely upload to itself. As long as you have like the nice product pictures uploaded over here, you know, those product pictures will automatically be uploaded to right here and everything will look nice. I recommend just getting nice white background product pictures so that way everything can look nice and congruent um everything is already mobile optimized for you so if you go ahead you'll see everything is mobile optimized and in the rare case that you know PageFly is having some issues and you know the 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 file that you uploaded is like got corrupted through PageFly or something like that it's really simple to just change everything you just click right here you go to styling and you can change the font size. All right, you can also press chat and start a live chat and the representatives are very helpful. They can help you out with anything. So everything is mobile optimized for you ready. Everything is super easy for you to change. The same goes for the product pages. You go to the product page. All you have to do is, you know, change this right here. You go to general and you click reselect image. So you right here, you upload it from your computer and you can change that image. And then the same thing that we did on the home page, you go through everything and you make sure you change the product. All right. You 
change all the headings or the subheadings. Just make sure everything matches. You want to make sure you get this down here as well. Select the right product, go through the FAQ, change everything up from the FAQ. And then there's another call to action down here. And, you know, just change the call to action. So everything is super easy. Um, you can use, you know, tools like copy.ai. So I'll link that down below as well. So copy.ai is just like a kind of like a like a software AI tool that you can use to generate a bunch of copy for you. So you can just use that to generate all this copy. And literally, this should not take you more than 15 minutes, right? So you go AliExpress, you use an extension on Google Chrome to download all the pictures from AliExpress. Um, I use this one called Ali Downloader. So you download all the pictures. Boom, now you have it in a file. You use copy.ai to get all your all your own copy. And then from there, you literally just plug everything in. You come right here, you know, you change the copy, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. You have your pictures, you upload your pictures, you upload your pictures, you know, make sure you have your products uploaded to right here. And then you just plug them in to each section. You know, you come here. You plug in the product, you come here, you plug in the product. It looks a little tedious, but I promise you it's super easy. And, you know, if you just sit down, you know, just really focus, like turn off your phone and just really focus for 15 minutes, I promise you, like, this is, this is super simple. Especially if you use those tools that I told you, copy.ai, and you go ahead and you download that Chrome extension and just download all the pictures from AliExpress. Like, it's super easy. And then, you know, um, get Canva, $9 a month. And then with that Canva account, you're able to, you know, take the backgrounds off of pictures that you downloaded from AliExpress. And, you know, just probably that'll take you a few extra minutes, but it goes a long way. It makes the website look a lot nicer. But you can really, this is a really good foundation. You can make this look really nice. Um, everything is completely mobile optimized. You know, I make sure everything looks really good on mobile first. Um, and these this template converts very good. Like, you're going to get really high conversion rates with this. Um, and this should really not take you no longer than 15 minutes to set up like if you sit down focus like i said turn your phone off you can get this done in 15 minutes okay so there's one thing that i left out that's super super important um it's pretty much what makes this a hybrid store it's how to get rid of the header all right and um you also got to get rid of this little part right here all right, so before you publish anything, you want to click these three little dots in the upper right corner and you click page settings, right? From there, you go to layout and you want to make sure that the header and footer is hidden and that the default product details are hidden, all right? You want to make sure both of these are hidden on the product page. Um, on the home page, you don't have to have it hidden, but on the product page, if you want it to look like its own branded store and you don't want it to like have anything to do with the general store or home page or any of that stuff you know you just make sure both of these are hidden all right um all right guys so yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions feel free to just hit me up on instagram my instagram is wi-fi trapper so that's spelled like this at wi-fi trapper all right so you can go ahead and you can hit me up on instagram or on Twitter. My Twitter is the same thing at Wi Fi Trapper. You can ask me any questions in the DM. I answer all my DMs. Um, yeah, guys, let me know if you found this video helpful. And I'll try to make more videos like this.